Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Strands of Grace. Thank you once again for tuning in. Y'all, I know it has been a long time again. So I recently started photography. That was kind of one of the talents and one of the gifts that I wanted to hone in on when I was talking to y'all in my life update video. And so I've started doing photo shoots and stuff like that. And so I'm really learning how to steward the things that I have committed to well. And I'm really learning to prioritize and balance an eight hour a day job while also working on other things kind of in my free time. And so I'm really, really trying to like juggle that and everything like that. So I am so sorry that I haven't been posting regularly. I'm really trying to just get my life together. If the if the camera starts jumping and stuff like that, or if I start jumping, it's because I'm in a parking deck. And you know how when you're in a parking deck and people are riding past you and you feel like the the, the ground is about to collapse in the parking deck or, or the floor? Yeah, that's what it feels like. So I'm gonna try to, you know, just keep it together. I was thinking about my interest in photography and I kind of think about it as something random, but as I was thinking about it, when I was little, I asked my parents for a camcorder. I asked them for a digital camera. And also my friends always want me to take pictures of them on my phone or on their phone because I say I take good pictures. This is something that I feel like I've kind of always been interested in, but didn't really realize it. and. I feel like having a YouTube channel for the last two years would have been a hint for me, but you know what? Don't even judge me. So yeah, I want to do the things that I'm doing on the side well, but I'm still learning to prioritize those things. And so thank y'all for sticking with me. Thank y'all for, for bearing with me. But that kind of goes along with kind of what I want to talk to y'all about today I've been thinking a lot about the idea of overconsumption and really overconsumption when it comes to your thought life and this is something that I have definitely been experiencing myself so this is not something that I've just that God just dropped a word in my heart like no this is something that I've been really really struggling with so personally me I love podcasts I love to watch YouTube. I just love YouTube in general. And I love to always have something playing in my ear. Whenever I'm at work, I'm listening to music while I'm doing a task. Whenever I'm at work, I'm listening to a podcast while I'm doing a task. And what God really revealed to me is that I'm constantly consuming something. I'm constantly having something in my ear. I'm constantly taking in information. And at first, I didn't really think much of it because, you know, I think that sometimes we think, oh, well, I'm not consuming anything bad. I'm just listening to podcasts. I'm listening to sermons. I'm listening to a harmless YouTube video. But at the end of the day, that is a lot of information being pumped into your brain. I realized that not only was I was I not being as productive because I wasn't fully able to focus on different tasks and get them done within the least amount of time possible because while I'm trying to focus on something, I'm also consuming something in my ear. And so I realized that it was much deeper than just consumption because when I wasn't consuming whatever I was obsessed with consuming, I was thinking about when I was gonna watch another YouTube video or I was thinking about whatever I had just consumed. And so I really began to think of just the concept of making an idol out of my thoughts. The Bible talks about how we should have no other God before God, before the one true God. And anything that we put before God is an idol. And so if I'm constantly over consuming and then my thought life is being occupied with whatever I'm consuming, then that means that I am making an idol out of my thought life. And that means that there is an area of overconsumption in my life that actually makes it so that I lack in other areas of my life because I'm not being as productive, because my thoughts aren't as focused and I'm not tackling everything that I need to tackle throughout the day because I'm constantly feeding one desire and not getting everything done holistically. You know how there's a quote that says, too much of anything is bad. And so I'm not saying that consuming podcasts or consuming YouTube or consuming something that you really enjoy that isn't 
you know, naturally sinful is bad. But I am saying that if we don't prioritize that thing and if we don't put it in its place, then it can become super bad and also make us unproductive in or other areas of our lives. And so I realized that that was really happening to me to where, you know, if you're choosing to over consume in one area, then you're taking from another area. I realized that the times where I was over consuming YouTube or over consuming a podcast, I could spend that time with God, you know, even if it was not in my scheduled time with God, I could spend that time with him or I could spend that time just doing something that I needed to get done or spend that time just getting better at something and just spend that time really, really growing in another area area of my life you know the bible says in philippians whatever is pure whatever is lovely like think on these things and sometimes i tend to think of that as okay i need to think of good things you know i need to think of things that the bible talks about i need to think about the word of god but even more than that like think of whatever is good whatever is pure think of whatever is like actually beneficial to your life beneficial to your growth beneficial to your spiritual walk as well because thinking of a cute youtube video yeah that's a good thought to a certain extent but is it really giving you life you know is it really progressing you in any way this is not to say that you know we need to cut out all these things no it's just saying that we need to put these things in their place and we need to say okay from this time to this time i'm going to take this time and enjoy this youtube video or enjoy my you know my favorite youtubers but after that amount of time i'm going to move on to the next thing and so it makes it to where you are enjoying different parts of your life, but you're also being productive. This is something that I haven't gotten down. This is something that I'm still processing through, but I have just taken the time to just be more mindful. And I've learned that the less stuff that I am consuming, the clearer my head is. I'm able to actually think really clear thoughts. I'm able to think thoughts that, more thoughts that are more kind of from myself, you know, and then thoughts that are just thinking about what I just consume. So I'm able to really process through my own thoughts better. And I'm able to also finish tasks faster and easier because my mind is more focused and, you know, I'm just slowly creating more discipline. But like I said, still getting through this, still learning through it, still growing through it, and just still kind of seeking what God is trying to say to me concerning this. So yeah if you haven't noticed okay y'all i just kind of switched subjects but bear with me if you haven't noticed i do have glasses now you'll probably see me in glasses from now on because y'all i cannot see that well and honestly i've always not been able to see that well but i just didn't like wearing my glasses and it got pretty bad so i decided to go to the eye doctor and my vision had actually gotten worse the glasses that i had actually just weren't even working that well anymore so i got new glasses i'm gonna wear them all the time i'm gonna try to wear them unless like the ring light is just glaring on the glasses i'm gonna try not to let that happen so that i can see y'all and everything like that i want to thank y'all for tuning in i want to thank y'all for you know just coming back to my channel i was thinking about it i was like sometimes i think i can look at a view like oh it's just a view but like that one view is an actual person like y'all are actual people that i'm so so grateful for and i'm so grateful that we get to walk with each other and i'm so grateful that i get to share my life with y'all and that we can just learn and, and grow together thank y'all for tuning in and i will see you in my next video